So the first time we started hearing about Fluxgate was last year. Um, we started getting a bunch of forum posts on our answers page and people were saying that they had this issue where they would open up their laptop and some of the backlights weren't working. So along the bottom of the display, when you open the laptop, you can kind of see alternating patches of light and dark. Further down the line, after you get the stage light effect, people were noticing that if they would open their laptop past a certain angle, the backlight would completely stop working. In 2016, they redesigned the chassis and introduced the touch bar, and those are the only machines that have been affected so far. So now that it's been a year or two since those machines were introduced, they are running past their one year warranty from Apple, and people with this issue are taking them into third party repair shops, and they are actually the ones who have kind of gotten to the bottom of this issue. The issue is the cables that connect the display to the body of the laptop are wearing out over time. And that wear is just normal use, you opening and closing your laptop, and in one or two years they're starting to wear out. When we started digging into the issue, we found that there were two things that are contributing to this problem. The first one is Apple opted to use thin flex display cables for this MacBook Pro as opposed to the beefier wire cables that they used in previous ones. The other problem is they wrapped those display cables partially around the display controller board so that when the laptop opens, those display cables are getting pulled taut around a corner of that board and that's what's causing them to wear over time. Normally when a laptop display cable goes bad, pretty easy to open up the laptop and swap out the display cable. What makes this particular issue so difficult to repair is the fact that the display cables are built directly into the display. So there's no way to just swap out the cable, which essentially turns the $6 cable replacement into a $600 screen replacement. In the meantime, since this is a design issue, we are hoping that Apple will come forward with an extended warranty program like they have with other laptop problems in the past but we are not too hopeful seeing as they have been deleting discussion posts on their online forum. But there is a petition going around that you can sign and Apple does have a dedicated feedback page that you can let them know about the issue on. And we are looking into any kind of do-it-yourself solution that you can do at home.